Do you know Excel rank function has a serious problem? It cannot calculate the correct ranking. What if there is a formula like rank if? Surprised? Then watch this complete video and you will know the issue with the rank function and how to make the correct ranking in Excel. Also I have developed an error formula using that you will be able to make conditional rank like the top 3 candidates in each section of a school. This video will be most interesting and watch till the end. Don't forget to subscribe Excel in Life in YouTube and follow in Facebook. I am having a score sheet of class 10 and we need to find rank of each student. Note that what Microsoft is telling about rank function. They have kept this function for compatibility with Excel 2007 and earlier. This may not be available in future version. We should use rank.eq in all cases. Let us enter the rank function for testing. Select the number to find the rank. Then select the total range of number as reference. To select the total range, place Ctrl, Shift and down arrow. Press F4 to fix this range. You can enter the option 0 or 1 to consider a list of score descending or ascending. We will select 0 as we need the student having maximum number will rank first. We got the result 4. If I don't put 0 then also it will give the same answer as 0 is the default value. If I double click the fill handle it will copy the formula till the last. Now this is showing the rank of individual student. To understand better let us sort this data on rank. Next, write the rank eq function. Parameter of the rank eq is same as rank function. Select the number to find the rank, then select the total range of the number as reference. To select the total range, press Ctrl, Shift and down arrow. Press F4 to fix the range. And double click the fill handle to copy the formula till the last. You can see that both the function gives the same output. Now, consider one scenario where two students got 479 numbers. Excel rank function shows both of them in the second position. But there is no third position. If three students get the same number, there will not be any third and fourth position. This is the problem with rank function. I will show you the method of writing the correct ranking in this video. Keep watching. Rank average. I do not find any usage of it. But just to check its working, let us write the function. Let us understand how average rank is coming. At each rank position 2, 3, 4 which is equal to 9. So divided by 3 you are getting average rank 3. Now how to get rank without skipping any number? To get that let us first write the rank eq function same as earlier. We want to count how many scores are same. To get that, we will apply COUNTIF. In that, we have to freeze the first address of the range pressing F4. Next select the cell as criteria. We have to minus 1 so that it is matching with the rank. Copying this formula, we are getting rank without skipping any number. Let us understand how this COUNTIF helping us. We are counting 479 in the range. As the range increases, so the count. Select the rank formula and press F9. The result is 2, which is the default result of rank. Select the county part and press F9. Got result 3 as there are 3 times 479 score is available. This way, final result is coming 4. There is an issue with this ranking. Since 3 students got the same number, all of them should be second and next number should be third. This cannot be achieved with rank function. This is a very interesting formula. Please watch carefully. We are using some product as it will be an array formula. Checking selected cell less than equal to the data range. Press F4 to fix the range. Don't forget to write the bracket. Divide this by count if total range as both range and criteria.
copy this formula and we got the desired ranking. Here we are getting consecutive ranking according to the score. To understand this, select the first part of the formula and press F9. We are getting 4 numbers true and rest false as there are 4 score which are more than equal to 479. Select the next part and press F9. This time it is 1, 3, 3, 3 and rest 1. Let us write it separately. Divide this 2 value. Summation of this 3 value is 1. Now summing up we will get the value 2 which is the output of the sum product. This is the correct representation of the ranking. If you keep 477 for 2 students then both of them will be declared third. Now you came to the most interesting part of this video. Let us assume we require to get first, second, third rank of each section. There is no ranking function in Excel. But I will show you the array formula by which you can find the conditional rank. Like every time this is also unique in Excel in life. You will not get this formula anywhere in this YouTube. This is an extended version of previous formula. With the previous formula we have to ensure that range is falling in the section. In place of count if, this time we will use count ifs and add section range and criteria. With if error, any error value in the array will be converted to zero so that we can sum them to get our result. This is to be entered as array formula by pressing Ctrl Shift and Enter. Let us understand how it is working. Highlight the first part and press F9. It is showing 0 in all places except 1 as 479 is scored by only one student of section B. Same way, count ifs will give you value pertaining to the section B. Now after division, we can find errors which is converted to 0 by applying if error function. At last, sum this array value to get the desired lesson. Now check how it is showing the section wise ranking of each student. So you have seen the various problem related to rank function and alternate solution for the same. Hope you like this video. You can download the practice workbook from the link given in the description. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Excel in Life. You can get this channel by searching Excel in Life in YouTube or Google. If you like this video, then you can watch this video also. Till then. Goodbye and take care.